Autry is the manager at Jam Copy in charge of licensing and client services. Thank you for the opportunity to share and also expressing congratulations to you for this venture. And I said that I knew you were going to go places, but I think that you are going places that we didn't think that you would go. And so we're so very proud. I'm particularly proud of you. And I want to encourage you to continue in that main. Um, I transitioned from to, to, into Jam Coffee um, by virtue of the fact that there was this vacancy. And so I um, got the position because of my psychology background with the ability to influence, the ability to market. I don't have any training in market, save and except for my own intuition. And so, but I think that my knowledge in, in, in counseling, where whilst counseling does not propel you into forcing people to do things, but it really provides uh, you with the ability to place the pros and cons on the table so that persons can see um, things in a particular way. But this particular job has taken me into aspects of law and, and more, more specifically copyright. So that's the story. And okay. I'm kind of sticking with it. Okay, so if I'm oh. recapping, you were out of a job and then there was a vacancy. You applied for it. Um, you were right. also a manager at a law firm. Right. And with your counseling psychologist, um, counseling background that made you a good candidate. You have no right. training in marketing, but um, using your God-given talents. And uh, it led you into this era, which also tied into some of your um, experiences. Right. Absolutely. Tied in with some of your experiences in law. Um, right. Okay. So that's a recap. Right. So um, let's start with an appreciation of of what is copy of what is copyright what is intellectual property intellectual property refers to the creation of the men example, inventions literary and artistic works and symbols names and images in commerce so we're talking about a whole um, gamut of um, ideas that would have been put in some tangible form and presented as in that time before. And so they are all under various categories. So we have industrial um, intellectual property, which is an umbrella, and then we have copyright and traditional knowledge of our standalones. But we have industrial property, which captures industrial designs, patents, trademarks, and the geographical indication. The procedure for granting patents, um, the requirements placed on the patent, patentee and the extent of the exclusive rights vary widely between countries according to the national laws and to international agreements. But typically, a patent application must include one or more claims defining the invention, which must be new, inventive, and useful or industrially applicable. So we're talking about the right to operate um, this particular um, to, to operate in this particular context um, with this particular product, and it is usually limited to, to a particular period of time. And so it means that the um, the owner or the person who is applying for those rights will have to over time ensure that they renew the patent that is on that particular product. And then there's trademark. A trademark is a sign that is geographical, that is graphically represented and, and um, capable of distinguishing the goods or services of a person, company, or legal entity from those of another. Um, so you may have a trademark, which is the word, say, Starbucks, or you may have Kentucky or those kinds of things. Once you see those things anywhere in the world, you can relate to them as um, unique to the particular company. A trademark can be comprised of words, letters, numbers, designs, names, slogans, symbols, colors, etc., etc. So, for example, or, um, or or coat of arms, or um, national flag, all those things. The combination of those things are the flag, for example, is unique to Jamaica. 
and 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 we can say uh, boastfully that there is no other flag that looks like our flag in the world. So, so most commonly, a geographical indication includes the name of the place um of origin or the goods so we may have jamaican um, jamaican coffee for example um jamaican jerk chicken jamaican jerk of course now there's a lot of controversies with our jerk because a lot of persons are throwing jamaican jerk and they're not really from jamaica um agricultural products typically have qualities that derive from their place of product uh, production and are influenced by specific local factors such as climate and soil and so on. Whether a sign or whether a sign is recognized as a geographical indication is a matter of national law. Geographical indications indications may be used for a wide variety of products, whether natural, agricultural, or manufactured. So we we can speak of our um, as I mentioned our coffee and we boast that our coffee is one of the best in the world the best in the world <laughs> <laughs> so take out the one of all right traditional knowledge typically distinguishes one community from another and uh, um it, it really reflects the community's interests some communities depend on their traditional knowledge for survival so if you think of of say um how we operate in Jamaica, there are some places that are unique for certain things. If you, if, if you make it just, if you just look at it in the context of, of our community in, in Jamaica. When we think of a skeleton, we think of a central spit. When we think of banana, we think of things. And we think of various things that, that we do um, in relation to our respective subcultures. But when, when we take, um, when we take the, the whole business of everything as a whole, then we combine it and we say, oh, those things are, are what happens in Jamaica and they're unique to Jamaica and so on. So even one of the pictures that I have there is where this person who is the leader is passing on um, some kind of guidance in relation to how, um, what you do with certain things, various things that they hold in their hands and so on. And then it's really about um, the, the survival of, of the of the of the culture, ensuring that the things that are unique to so to the particular culture, to the particular community, or 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 area or country, is preserved <clears throat> as theirs. Uh, we have reggae. We have um, the way we, we do things like cornmeal pudding. Um, the way we do things, like the way we speak. Um, those are some of the things that are part of our dances, um, and we have so many of them. And so those are seen as traditional knowledge. We have a lot of stories that we can tell about how this came about, how that came about, and so on. Um, Miss Lou and Masran made popular some of the things. And so we have those as part of our legacy captured under traditional knowledge so one question doc those captured under traditional knowledge are you saying that those are trademarked there, there would be some aspect of it but we're talking about the content in terms of the content itself because remember now that um intellectual property has one sorry one particular item or one particular component of intellectual property can have other areas within it as well okay. so you right so you can have other areas within it as well so here we're talking about the knowledge in particular but then you if, if you write write it down and you want to preserve that in terms of it in, in its written state you may need to do copyright okay. but the content itself is is what is described as traditional knowledge and the processes that are involved so, so who is the founder of this this thing here because I remember when Kanye West came to Jamaica and he was using our flag for his goods and different things. It, it belongs to the government of Jamaica. Okay. It belongs, and, and so that's why it is managed by Jamaica Intellectual Property Office. Okay. Jaipo. So, um, whatever you need to know and to understand in relation to the details of intellectual property, you go straight to, you can go to their website or you can just speak with them and be guided in, in that regard because they are the managers they manage intellectual property 
that belongs to Jamaica. And management, is not just in relation to, from a government perspective, but individuals also, they, they do registration and all the various things and will guide you along the way in that regard. Thank you.